quick game that you can play with your dog that'll develop into some other skills later on if you wanna teach them to track and find things for you. So it involves a stuffed Kong and your dog or puppy. It's suitable for any age of dog and it's great enrichment for them. So we're gonna start with the Kong having the contents really loose. We wanna make sure that they can actually get success in getting something out of the Kong because otherwise they're just gonna give up really easily. Over time, you can pack it harder and for the really good Kong expert dogs, you can then throw it in the freezer. So all that you need is a Kong that's appropriate for your dog's age and size, something um, to fill it with that's appealing, and you're just gonna use your own house. So we're gonna start simple, and we're gonna gradually make it more difficult as we go. Find it. Find it. Not only does this game provide enrichment for your dog, it's fun and enjoyable, but it's also the start of other skills that can be developed later on, such as object discrimination and being able to locate items for you. Now that your dog understands it, why not make it even more enjoyable? And by the way, this is great for dogs that wolf down their food really quickly and need to slow down. Rather than handing over your dog's meal in a bowl all at once, Make it last longer and stimulate their mind even longer. Take the meal and split it up amongst a bunch of Kongs. If you need to make it more appealing, go ahead and add in a little dab of peanut butter without xylitol. Maybe even a little cheese whiz, maybe pieces of wiener, some liver powder. I'm sure you can find something that makes it more appealing if it's needed. Remember that in the beginning, we make it really loose so that they have success and they don't get frustrated and give up. When you're adding more Kongs to the Find It game, remember to keep it simple. So I would start by having them pretty much out in the open and then gradually hiding them and making it more and more difficult. Be sure you have the right Kong for your dog or puppy. The baby blue and pink ones are a softer rubber and they're made specifically for puppies. These aren't Kongs that you'd wanna give a dog with adult teeth because the Kong wouldn't stand up to it and there could be a risk that your dog could chew a piece off, which might be dangerous. The size is also important. We wanna make sure that the Kong size is not something that your dog could swallow. And yes, clients have shared with me stories of their dog swallowing Kongs. Once your puppy has passed its puppy stage and has its adult teeth, I'd recommend that you get the original Kong. It's red and it's a moderate rubber that's suitable for most dogs. 
be sure that you have the right size for your dog and always keep an eye on it. If you see that there's any drying or cracking, I would toss it in the garbage and replace it with a new one. If you have a power chewer, then you're going to want to look at buying the Extreme Kong. It's black and it has a tougher, harder rubber. As your dog gets better and better at this, you can pack the Kongs tighter and even toss it in the freezer. When it comes to cleaning the Kong, I don't recommend that you soak it in soapy water. The reason being is that the rubber will pick up the taste of the soap, which is not very appealing to your dog. Clean it promptly. A simple bottle brush works great with some warm soapy water and you'll have a Kong that'll last a long time. Don't put it in the dishwasher though. It'll make it really dry and will crack easily. I hope you enjoy this exercise with your dog. I know it'll bring a lot of enjoyment for you both. Remember, an educated dog is a happy dog. Thanks for watching.